You're watching Ruroni K95's movie review on the Rocky Horror Picture Show. Hi, Ruronis. This is your pal Ruroni K95 here, and today's movie review I get to cover another 1979 movie, which is a musical comedy horror film. For today's movie review is the Rocky Horror Picture Show. The Rocky Horror Picture Show is a 1975 musical comedy horror film by 20th Century Fox produced by Lou Adler and Michael White and directed by Jim Sharnman. The screenplay was written by Sharnman and actor Richard O'Brien, who is also a member of the cast. The film is based on the 1973 musical stage production, The Rocky Horror Show, with the music and book written and lyrics by Richard O'Brien. The production is a parody tribute to the science fiction and horror B-movies of the 1930s to the ni early 1960s. Along with Richard O'Brien, the film stars Tim Curry, Susan Sarandon, and Barry Bostwick, and is narrated by Charles Gray with the cast members of the original Royal Court Theatre, Roxy Theatre, and Belasco Theatre productions, including Nell Campbell and Patricia Quinn in this movie. So let's review the Rocky Horror Picture Show, because you're in for, before Halloween. A criminologist narrates the tale of the newly engaged and innocent couple, Brad Majors and Janet Weiss, who finds themselves lost and with a flat tire on a cold and rainy late November evening near a town called Denton in 1974. Seeking a telephone, the couple walks to a nearby castle where they discover a, strain, a group of strange and outlandish people who are holding an annual Transylvanian convention. They are soon swept into the world of Dr. Frankenfurter, a self-proclaimed -proc sweet transvestite from transsexual Transylvania. The ensemble of the convention attendees also includes servants, Riff Raff and his, and his sister Magenta, and a groupie named Columbia. His, in his lab, Frank claims to have discovered the secret la to a life hims itself. His creation, Rocky, is brought to life. The ensuing celebration is soon interrupted by Eddie, an ex-delivery boy, both Frank's ex-lover and Columbia's current, current partner as well. As a partial brain donor to Rocky, who rides out of deep uh, uh, out of a deep freeze on a motorcycle, Eddie then proceeds to seduce Columbia, get the Transylvanians dancing and singing, and interview Brad and Janet. When Rocky starts dancing and enjoying the performance, a gel uh, Ellis Frankenfurter kills Eddie with a pickaxe, which col makes Columbia screams in horror. Devastated by Eddie's death, Frank justifies killing Eddie as a mercy killing to Rocky, and they depart to a bridal suite. Brad and Janet are shown to separate bedrooms where each is visited and seduced by Frank, who poses as Brad when visiting Janet, and then as Janet when visiting Brad, Janet upset and emotional wanders off to look for Brad, and when she discovers Frank in br bed with Brad, who is smoking a cigarette on a video monitor. She then discovers Rocky cowering in his birth tank, hiding from Riff Raff, who has been tormenting him while t t tending to his wounds. Janet becomes an in initiate with Rocky as Magenta and Columbia watch from their bedroom monitor, see what they were up, what Brad is, and Rocky are up to. After discovering that his creation is missing, Frank returns to the lab with Brad and Riff Raff, and where Frank learns that an intruder has entered the building. Brad and Janet's old high school science teacher, Dr. Everett V. Scott, has come looking for his nephew, Eddie. Frank suspects that Dr. Scott investigates UFOs for the government. Upon learning of Brad and Janet's connection to Dr. Scott, Frank suspects them of working for him. Brad denies any knowledge of it, and Dr. Scott assures Frank that Brad is not involved in UFOs. Frank, Dr. Scott, Brad, and Riff Raff then discover Janet and Rocky together under the sheets in Rocky's birth tank, upsetting Frank and Brad. Magenta interrupts the reunion by sounding a massive going and starting, stating that dinner is prepared. Yep. Rocky and the guests share an uncomfortable dinner, which they soon realize has been prepared for Eddie's mutilated remains. 
Janet runs screaming into Rocky's arms, provoking Frank to chase her through the halls. You know, with the song, You Better Wise Up Janet, in that one. Janet, Brad, Dr. Scott, Rocky, and Columbia all meet in Frank's lab, where Frank cap captures them with, Medu with the Medusa transducer, transducer, transforming them into nude statues. After distressing them in cabaret costumes. Frank unfreezes them when they perform a live cabaret floor show complete with the RKO radio pictures tower and a swimming pool with Frank as the leader. Riff Raff and Magenta interrupt the performance revealing themselves and Frank to be aliens from the planet transsexual in the galaxy of Transylvania. They st stage a coup and announce a plan to return to their home planet in the process. They kill Columbia and Frank, who has failed his mission, and enraged Rocky gathers Frank in his arms, climbs to the top of the tower, and plunges into his death in the pool below. Riff Raff and Magenta release Brad, Janet, and Dr. Scott, then depart by lifting off the castle itself. Then the survivors are then left crawling in the dirt, and the narrator concludes that the human race is equivalent to insects crawling on the planet's surface, lost in time, and lost in space and meaning as you imagine if you will and that's how you end this movie with the reprised version of science fiction double feature performed by richard o'brien and with then followed by the time warp that you hear at the end credits of the movie the rocky horror picture show speaking of which the story centers on a young, engaged couple whose car breaks down in the rain near a castle where they seek a telephone to call for help. The castle or country home is occupied by strangers in elaborate costumes celebrating an annual convention. They discover the head of the house is Dr. Frankenfurter, an apparently mad scientist who is actually is an alien transvestite who creates a living muscle man in his laboratory. The couple are seduced separately by the mad scientist and eventually released by the servants who take control. The film was shot in the United Kingdom at the Bray Studios and on the location at an old country east state named the Oakley Court. Yep. Best known for its earlier use by the Hammer, Hammer Film Productions. A uh, number of props and set pieces were reused from the Hammer Horror Films. Although the film is a both a parody of and tribute to the many Kitsch science fiction and horror films, costume designer Sue Blaine conducted no research for her designs. Bla Blaine stated that costumes from the film have directly affected the development of the punk rock fashion trends such as ripped fishnets and dyed hair in the process. Although largely critically planned on its initial release, it soon became known as a midnight movie, where audience be audiences began participating with the film at the Waverly Theater in New York City in 1976. Audience members returned to the cinemas frequently and talked back to the screen and began dressing as the characters spawning a similar performance groups across the United States of America, which gained an occult following. At almost the same time, fans in costumes at the King's Court Theater in Pittsburgh began performing alongside the film, with the shadow cast mim mimed the actions on screen and above and behind them while lip-syncing the character's lines still in limited release 45 years after its premiere. It is the longest-running theatrical release in film history. It is often shown close to Halloween, Today, the film has a large international cult following and has been considered by many one as one of the greatest musical films of all time. It was selected for preservation in the, in the United States National Film Registry by the Library Congress in 2005 as well. Richard O'Brien was living as an un unemployed actor in London during the early 1970s. He wrote most of the Rocky Horror Show during one winter just to occupy himself since his youth. O'Brien had loved science fiction and B-horror movies from the 1930s to the early 1960s. He wanted to combine elements of the unintentional humor of B-horror movies, pretentious dialogue of schlock horror, Steve Reeves' muscle flicks, and 50s rock and roll into his musical combined. 
Richard O'Brien conceived and wrote the play at, set against the backdrop of the glam era had manifested in British popular culture in the 1970s. Allowing his concept to come into being, O'Brien states, Glam rock allowed me to be myself more. Richard O'Brien showed a portion of the unfinished script to Australian director Jim Sharman, who decided to direct it at the small experimental space of upstairs at the Royal Court Theatre, Salone Square in Chelsea, London, which was used as a project space for new work. Richard O'Brien had previously appeared in the stage production of Andrew Lloyd Webster's Jesus Christ Superstar, directed by Charmin, and the two also worked together in Sam Shepard's The Unseen Hand. Charmin would bring the in production designer Brian Thompson the original creative team was then rounded out by costume designer Sue Blaine, musical director Richard Hartley, and stage producer Michael White, who was brought into the produce as the musical went into rehearsal. The working title, They Came From Denton High, was changed before the preview, just before the previews at the suggestion of Charmin to the Rocky Horror Show as well. Having premiered at the, in six, the small 60 seat Royal Court Theatre, it quickly moved to larger venues in London, transferring to the 230-seat Chelsea Classic Cinema on King's Road on August 14, 1973, before finding a quasi-permanent home at the 500-seat King's Road Theatre from November 3rd that year. Lawning for six year, running for six years, the musical made its debut, U.S. debut in the Los Angeles in 1974, before playing in New York City as well as other cities as well, which including the stage at the Roxy Theater in L.A. as well. Yep. The film was shot at Bray Studios in Oakley Court, Country House near Maidenhead, Berkshire, England, and at L Street Studios for post-production. From October 21st to December 20, 19, 1974, Oakley Court built in 1857 in the Victorian Gothic style is known for the number of Hamer films. Much of the location shooting place took there, although at the time at the the manor was not in good condition at this point. Much of the cast were from the original London stage production, including Tim Curry, who had decided that Frank Dr. Frankenfurter should speak like the Queen of England, extravagantly posh. Fox insisted on casting the two characters of Brad and Janet with American actors Barry Bostwick and Susan Sarandon. Filming took place during autumn, which made conditions worse during filming. Sarandon fell ill with pneumonia. Filming of the laboratory scene and the title character's creation occurred on the 30th of Octo October 30th, 1974, which is probably before Halloween as well. Yep. The film is a both parody and tribute to many of so the science fiction and horror movies from the 1930s up to the 1970s. The film's production retains many aspects from the stage version, such as the production design and music, but adds new scenes not featured any in the original mu stage play. The film's plot setting and ec style echo those of the Hammer horror, Hammer horror films which th had their own uh, instantly recognizable style just like the as the universal horror films did the originally proper O's opening sequence which contains the lips clips of various films mentioned in the lyrics as well as the first few sequences shot in black and white but this was deemed to be expensive but scrapped at this point yeah so the rocky horror picture show had a cult following because it was played at theaters at midnight because it had a cult following as well. Yep. So that's going to be it for my movie review on the Rocky Horror Picture Show for today's movie review. Thank you for watching, but before we go, here's my thoughts on the Rocky Horror Picture Show. It's been a while since I've watched the Rocky Horror Picture Show when I first watched it. This was the first time I get to watch the Rocky Horror Picture Show because I know this movie has a cult falling when it was played in theaters at midnight because fans who are dressed like the characters from the Rocky Horror Picture Show has gone to see this movie at midnight for the midnight participation for this movie. Hope to subscribe for content in my anime plan. Link in the description of the book. Share this video on your Twitter and Facebook. If you have Twitter and Facebook account and all social media, be sure to give this video a thumbs up by clicking on the like button on this video. Feel free to leave in the comments in the comment section below in this video if you like as well. Be sure to subscribe to my channel, Ronnie K95. Feel free to join my channel, especially if you're new on my channel. Hit the notifications bell button, and I got another movie review coming up because it's almost Halloween.
Stay tuned for my next movie review. I got another movie, because we're getting close to Halloween, with my movie review on the 1991 movie, The Addams Family. Stay tuned until next time.